so mods. They've been around for a long time. And when it comes to The Sims 4, the mod options are in huge quantity. You can get small mods, big mods, family friendly mods. And of course, if you've been watching my channel, you'll know that you can get some pretty saucy mods as well. But playing with so many mods recently has got me thinking, if I were talented enough to create mods, what would they look like? What mods would I create? Well, I decided to make a video about it. So I'll be talking to you about my mods, imaginary mods, <laughs> because as I said, I'm not talented enough to make them myself. So let's begin. Okay, so first things first, I would create a mod to replace the current memory system. Instead of having to take a screenshot and set it as a happy memory, your sims will now have more of like a, a scrapbook style memory log. I'm kind of thinking like a hybrid between The Sims 3 and The Sims 2. The Sims 3 memory book was, was alright, but it missed a lot of the memories off and it didn't include a fraction of the memories included in The Sims 2. When your Sims completes an interaction that triggers a memory, for example, first kiss, promotion at work, maybe they get an A grade at school, something like that, then a new icon will appear in The Sims memory book with a brief sentence or two just describing The Sims' feelings about the memory. Pretty much exactly like in The Sims 2. But I think this would be good because it would add more depth to the characters in the game. Currently, with The Sims 4, if a sim you stumble across has a backstory, it's only really evident through their relationships, their skills and their career information. There isn't really much information about who they are as a sim or what they like to do in their free time. So with this mod, you should be able to create detailed backstories for your sims, if that's what you're into. Next up, this one I think would be fucking brilliant. I would create a mod that enabled juiced mode. This is exactly as it sounds. If your sim drinks too much, they become absolutely twatted and start behaving very oddly. So all of a sudden, your sim starts falling over in the club, dropping their food all over the floor, and they're now able to engage in romantic interactions like kissing, woohoo with acquaintances when in this mode. But there is a catch. When your sim is in juiced mode, they'll be very difficult to manage. So you can still give them commands, but there's a good chance they'll just ignore you and do what they want instead, no matter how reckless. And the reason why I want a mod like this is because A, it's far more realistic gameplay if you are playing as an irresponsible sim, and B, it'll be really funny. It's nice to spice the game up every now and again, and I think this could be the way to go. Another mod, two words, plastic surgery. For sims who are self-absorbed and have a lot of spare cash laying around, they can book themselves in for a few cosmetic procedures such as facelift, lip fillers, breast enlargements. As with any surgery in real life, there's always an element of risk. So when your sim goes off for surgery, you'll not be taken to a cast menu and be given free reign to modify their face. Oh no, this is generated during a rabbit hole visit. So once the surgery is done, it's done unless you use the full edit mode cheat. <laughs> but there is a good chance that your sim will come back with a successful outcome, but there's also a chance that the surgery goes horribly wrong and your mild lip filler injections turn your sim's face into a work of Picasso. It's up to you to decide whether you want to take that risk. I was kind of inspired to think of this one by the Get Famous pack. The whole fame system and the houses in the hills kind of got me thinking, if it was really Hollywood, there should be plastic surgery. They go hand in hand, don't they? Next on the list, teachable skills. So in real life, you learn things quicker if you have an expert teaching you than if you're left to learn it on your own. So this mod enables sims who have a high enough level of skill to teach that specific skill to others. And the sim being taught will gain skills within half the time. I imagine this would work well with elder sims who, let's be honest, they don't really have a lot going on at the minute. I thought of maybe an old granddad who has a wealth of knowledge that he wanted to pass down to his grandkids, like teaching his grandson how to fish, or maybe grandma can teach him how to cook. Apologies for the use of stereotypes. Up next, a mod that brings back relationship reputations. This is definitely not my idea. I want to literally steal the reputations from The Sims 3 and bring them into The Sims 4. 
I know there is already a reputation meter in The Sims 4, but I quite like the relationship one that classes your sim based on their actions, like cheater, loyal, or eternally faithful. Speaking of Sims 3, I'd also bring back the imaginary friend, so I'm a sucker for a novelty, sue me. Okay, this one is a really big ask, but what the hell. A honeymoon mod. So I'm thinking at the end of a couple's wedding event, there'll be a pop-up giving the option to go on a honeymoon. The mod itself would just be a large hidden lot that your sims would be transported to for 24 hours. And in that time, your sim can relax by the pool, they can go to the bar, they can stay in their honeymoon suite together, like a Hawaiian themed tropical resort. Now I don't know how possible this would be, but let's face it, I won't be making any of these mods I've listed anyway, so I may as well get carried away. In for a penny, in for a pound. And uh, there you have it. If I had the talent and patience to create mods, that's probably what they would look like. Let me know in the comments what you think, what are your mod ideas, and would you play any of the ones I've listed here? I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.